Hi! So, uh, this video is going to show you how we assemble the box cajon. Uh, my name is Matt and I'm here at Music Makers and I'm going to just take you through this process step by step. Um, be sure to give us a call or an email if you have any questions. So when you get your kit, the first thing you want to gonna do is get your directions out. And uh, we tell you right away to go through your materials and make sure that we have uh, that you have everything available here. Um, check the parts over, make sure everything looks all right. If you know if something's wrong, you want to take care of it before you get too far into the project so it doesn't become a big delay later. Um, so uh, if you look at your parts list, you we don't have a lot in this kit. It's pretty easy. You know we have uh, a top and a bottom. And these pieces are identical, so either one can be the top or the bottom. Uh, we have the back piece. This is a rectangular piece that has a hole in it. Now you'll notice if you look at this hole, um, one side of this hole has a rounded edge, and that's going to be the side that's facing out. That'll come into play later when we glue this on. The other side, you could have this out, but you'd probably want to round over that edge. That's the back piece. Um, I should mention this top and bottom piece are, are they're both half inch material. Um, this back piece is a quarter inch material and then the front piece does not have a hole and it's eighth inch material. And finally we have the two sides um, rectangle pieces that are both half inch material. Uh, so for the first part of our project we're going to glue these sides to the top and the bottom. So to do this, you're going to want to have a nice flat uh, workbench is real helpful. You're going to need some glue. Uh, we always recommend uh, basic yellow woodworking glue. Elmer's or Tight Bond are two uh, trusted brands you can find at a local hardware store. You're going to want some tape. We like to use the strapping tape. It has these uh, filaments in it, it makes it it's extra strong, it doesn't rip very nice. And then uh, get a wet rag as well to clean up any glue that spills. So this is how this is going to work and you might want to just uh, dry fit this to get a feel for this before you do it but you'll notice that on um, the top and bottom if you can see this we have a, a dado cut on either side and that's what's going to hold the sides in. So you can set this up just like this and make sure everything looks good. Uh, these edges should line up real nicely on a flat surface. If, if something looks really, really wrong, we're going to want to address that right away. So it's probably a good idea to just test fit this and make sure that things look like they're going to go together. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and glue this up. Now, your side pieces, you can just take a close look at them and decide which side you want facing out. It doesn't matter, but some of the side, you know, one side might have a grain that you particularly like, or one side might have a flaw that you want to put in. So I'm going to have this be inside, and I'm going to have this inside. Okay, so everything laid out, grab your glue, and before you do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little couple pieces of tape on here. So that as soon as I'm ready, as soon as I have this glue on there, I don't have to wait before I tape it. I can just get some tape to hold it in place right away. It's nice to have a tape dispenser like I do, but if you don't you could uh, get a bunch of strips already cut to length and have them available. 